Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to take a look at using scene properties and not just scenes as a whole. What did that mean? What, what the things I said, what did that mean? A lot of people use scenes uh, with all properties checked by default, and a lot of people use scenes to move the camera from position one to position two. One, two, one, two, and that's not, there's nothing wrong with that. That's a great way to do it. But there's so much more to scenes than just positioning camera. And that's what we want to take a look at right now. All right, so I have this little model here, um, just a simple building model. I want to use this real quick to create some scenes. So generally, like most people, when you come in and use a scene, what you do is you get Okay, this is the this is where I want to look at this model from and I come over here and I hit plus and create the scene. That's awesome. What you don't realize you're doing when you do that is when I hit plus, I'm creating a scene that is saving camera location, top level hidden geometry, hidden objects, all these things. What you can do is you can save a view so it only saves some of that information. So so what do I mean by that? Let's go through and do this. So I have my scenes window open and I do have the, the uh, fly out open also. I hit the little down arrow so I get this option at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, I want to save a new scene, but all I want to do is save the camera location. So I'm going to turn everything else off and then hit plus. All right, so I just made scene one. I'm going to change it to camera one. All right. So that's camera one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and change my view over to here. Get that right where I want on the screen. There we go. And with only camera location turned on, I'm gonna hit plus again. And I'm gonna call that camera two. All right, so now you guys know this trick, right? So we go trick, you know this process, camera one, camera two. And I'm just going back and forth between these two views. Awesome. Now, what happens if I wanna use scenes to change some visibility. Say for example, uh, in this model right here, I wanna see this, this building with the roofs off. So I wanna look into the house. So I wanna go, I'm gonna go grab all the pieces that are roof related. Whoops. I'm just gonna grab all these and then I'm gonna right click on it and I'm just gonna hide them. Oops, got this one, hide. So now it's all hidden. So what I want to do now is I want to create a new scene, but not one that messes with the camera, one that just controls what's hidden and what's not. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit plus right now to create that new scene. And I'm going to call it uh, visible one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it from saving the camera location to saving the hidden geometry flags, and then I'm going to hit update. What do I want to update? I want to update just the two hidden geometries. There we go. Update. Okay. And now we need to do one that turns everything back on. So, whoops. Visible one. And then I will come in here, view hidden objects. Grab all the objects, right click and say unhide. All right. And then I will say plus again, and I will call this one visible two, enter. So now visible one and visible two just change what's checked here, right? If I click on camera one, I'm going to go back to that camera one location. Camera two is going to change my camera location location two. And visible one is going to toggle the roof off. Visible two is going to toggle the roof back on. So this can be used in combination, right? So from here, from where camera two is, I, I can jump to where camera two is, hit visible one and turn the roof off. And then I can hop back over to where camera one is and turn the roof back on. So I can do that with just quick clicks because they're already saved. One of the things you, I, I guarantee everybody's run into this. So what I did for camera one was I set only, you know, I turned all the flags off and then I hit plus. What you have to remember is anytime you mess with any of this information from here down, you 
are, if you have a scene that's created, you're changing the flags, the properties for the highlighted scene. So I want to come in and I want to set one up that controls um, my fog and shadow settings. What I have to do is I have to create the scene first and then edit it, right? So I'm going to go right just where, where I'm visible from right now. I'm just going to hit plus and I'm going to call this, um, I don't know, uh, uh, view one. I don't know what view means, but in view one, all I want to save, I'm going to turn this off and all I want to turn on is my fog and my shadows. So I'm going to call that view one. All right. So now I have view one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to fog and shadows, turn on fog, turn on shadows and hit plus and save this as view two. Now, now I got something to work with. So now I can say, let's jump to camera two. Let's take that roof off. Nah, let's put the roof back on. Let's jump back to camera one. What if I don't want that fog on? What if I do want it on? And I can mix and match. I don't have to mix and match either. I can manually go in and, you know, what does my view look like from here with or without fog? I can, I can change those things just by hitting the buttons. And let's see. Okay, yeah, with or without the roof. So I can look inside, look outside. All of that then becomes totally controllable just by hitting the buttons. So you can use scenes for so much more than just deciding where your camera is going to look at a model from. I'm going to say this, and don't be offended if you do this, but a lot of people have a model that ends up with like 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 scenes. And some of those scenes are the cameras in the exact same spot, but one thing turns on or off. So rather than having different variables you can play with by here's my camera scene, I'll click there. And then here's my style scene, I'll click that. And then here's my hidden geometry scene, I'll click that. People make all those things in one scene. So you hit a single button. And there's, like I said, there's nothing wrong with that. That's nice that locks you into that one view where everything's connected to one. But if you break apart the properties of a scene into different controls, you actually end up with a lot more flexibility of how you want those things to go. Not saying it has to, you know, this is not how you should do it for everything. Absolutely not. If you're creating a floor plan, then you know you want your camera locked in a certain spot. You want that output style turned on. You want shadows off. That's, that's fine. That's great. But if you want different ways to control a model or you want working scenes, those are scenes that you actually go and model in, like things like turning the roof on and off as you're working, using scenes with only some properties turned on can be a huge time saver for you. Check it out. If you like this video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos every week. You'll be notified of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please let us know what you thought. Did you like this tip? Do you use this tip? Is there some other way you think of using scenes? We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.